In this video, I want to show you how we can use the Morph feature in PowerPoint to focus in on one area of a spreadsheet. If we wanted to focus in on just the net income for these two years, we can use Morph to zoom in on those two figures. In PowerPoint, we often start with an image of a spreadsheet. So this is an image taken from a PDF and it is a whole spreadsheet or table of numbers. Sometimes we have to display this, but there are only a couple of numbers that we really want to focus on. In this case, we can use Morph in a strategic way to focus just on those numbers. What I've done is, this is a single image, and what I've done in this next slide here is I've actually taken that image and broken it into pieces strategically. So let me show you the selection pane here. And you'll notice what I've done is I have broken it into those pieces that are going to remain static, which aren't going to change, and those that are going to change. So if we take a look at our different images here, I've broken it up. So there's a title image at the top, the year ended, because that shouldn't change, and the footer at the bottom. So those are the various areas that are not going to change. And then I have my column headers, which are the headers at the top of each of the columns, the data table, which are the numbers, and then the row labels. This is a generic uh, type of breakup that you can think about with any spreadsheet image. There's going to be certain information at the top and at the bottom, which are going to remain static. And then your three areas that you are going to want to, to, to use in the morph zooming, which are the column headers, the row labels, and the data table. Once we've broken it into these pieces, we can then use morph to make only certain of those pieces move in our transition from one slide to the next. So let me show you how this is built. I'm going to remove my selection pane. So as we start any morph, we will simply duplicate the slide. So I'll duplicate the slide and then I'll remove the rounded rectangle. So here's how I'm going to build this morph. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by cropping the data table image to just the numbers that I want. So I've selected that image click on picture format, go to crop, and I'm going to use my cropping handles to crop in on just the two net income figures that I want to uh, focus the discussion on. So I've got that crop done. Now what I'm going to do is, is knowing that I've got that the size that I want it to be, I can now crop my other two areas. The first with my column headers, so I'll use the crop there. And the nice thing about cropping is that it shows me the guide, see the guide on the right hand side of the cropped area there, that tells me I have lined it up with another uh, image, which is the cropped area of the numbers. And similarly, I'm now going to crop the row headings, so I can crop that down to there, and I can crop it up to here and again because these row headings have a lot of white space I can decide to crop that so removing some of the white space now I have my three sections the row labels column headers and the data and I can bring those together again using the guides I'm going to move this over and using the guides it tells me I've lined it up and then this one again using the guides it tells me I've got it there and now I'm lined up. So I have all my three pieces lined up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them. I'm just going to use my cursor to drag a rectangle around, select them, and then group them. So on my picture format I'm going to group it. Now I'm going to hold the shift key down as I resize it so that it is proportional and doesn't distort anything. So I make it much bigger. I can move it let's say into the center here where I want it to be focused then I can ungroup it. It's always important to ungroup because you want the three individual elements. Now that I've got those three elements, I've selected the second slide, I go to my Transitions ribbon and I can select Morph and it will show me a preview of what that looks like. So when I go into slideshow mode here, uh, start with my second slide here, and when I click uh, I focus with that call out and then when I click to the next slide Morph takes over and it zooms in each of those areas individually and it works and it can work for any spreadsheet because what we've done is we have strategically broken up 
the image of the spreadsheet into those different areas. Our top areas, which in this case title and year ended, our bottom, which is the footer, and then our three sections to represent the row labels, the column headers, and the data table. So use this strategic approach and use Morph to break a spreadsheet image into pieces and then be able to zoom in on just those few numbers that you want the audience to pay attention to. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.